Hey guys, what's up? Today, I have a pickup that is very near and dear to my heart. I'd say out of all the shoes I own, this is probably like of the most sentimental value to me. It is the Stance X New Balance 1978. You might ask me like what the big deal about this shoe is. Well, I, I actually worked at Stance Socks um, in San Clemente up until last year and um, I saw this shoe from the very beginning, um, from the concept stages, and to actually see it as a final product, like the collab kind of come together into this final physical product, and to be holding the final product in my hand, you know, I cannot express in words how uh, how cool of a feeling this is. So yeah, um, all my friends back at Stance that worked on this project, from like the design, to the packaging, to the projects, the photo shoots, you know, you guys like really knocked it out of the park. I am super excited about this collab and I am happy that I can finally wear this shoe. So as some of you guys might know, this collab came in a two shoe pack. Um, each pack based on the respective company's hometowns. The 1978 pack being from San Clemente, California and the 997 pack which is from Boston, Massachusetts. The 997 pack or I'll put a picture of the shoe right here it's kind of like this clay red with uh, beige and some rusted copper accents and it's supposed to represent kind of like the the Boston cityscape with the old buildings um, it's definitely a cool shoe but um, I, I kind of already have like too many 997s I already got like a bunch um, so I was like, eh, and, and, and I didn't really have any like personal connections with Boston either. So you know, I had to get the 1978s, the San Clemente joints. So these are supposed to represent kind of like the sand and ocean here in San Clemente. You got like this uh, sand color on the toe box, this kind of like nice ocean color on the midfoot area and this dark ocean color towards your collar. And then you have this white foam to kind of represent, I guess, sea foam. The colors really come together perfectly and, you know, it's like a jaw-droppingly gorgeous shoe in person. I don't know if this video is doing it justice, but the color, but the colorway is just, mm. So, um, let's talk more about the 1978 silhouette. Now, this is a new silhouette. Um, when I was being shown this shoe last year at Stance, the guy that was designing the shoe said this was a brand new silhouette for uh, 2017 and I'm assuming it is because I had not seen this silhouette before. Now that you can actually buy this silhouette in a couple of different colorways right now but all of them are just like monotone. They're just like one color with the white base. So it's not as uh, exciting as this. I like the, the whole kind of like gradient. It's kind of like a very like, you know, Ronnie Feig-esque colorway going here. I'm, 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 I'm super into that. In terms of the uh, shoe itself, so I was kind of worried initially because just from the pictures, it just looked like three leather panels stitched together. And I was like, is that really gonna be comfortable? Is my foot gonna sweat in there? Like just touching the leather. But um, I was totally wrong when I got it. I noticed that the shoe had a lot more tech built in it than meets the eye. So I took the uh, sock liner out. And as you can see, the, the inside of the shoe is lined with this neoprene sock liner. The entire inside is just neoprene. Apart from the tongue, where um, well, obviously they can't do anything about that, the entire side and back of the shoe are wrapped in this neoprene booty. And it literally almost feels like wearing like a wetsuit booty. It, the neoprene like hugs your foot and it just feels really good. When your, your foot sweats, the booty just absorbs the sweat and ventilates through all these little perforations right here. So it is definitely um, a well-ventilated shoe. Feels good on the foot, especially during the summer. And um, it's almost impossible to see, but inside the perforations on the end, there's uh, this teal 3M material that, that kind of catches the, um, that kind of catches reflections. It's, it's pretty cool. So the only thing I have a complaint about actually on this shoe is this uh, this midsole. So the midsole is uh, a Vibram midsole and it's just one giant piece, uh, no different materials, one material all throughout. And I would say this material is like a little too firm to be comfortable as a midsole and a little too soft to be effective as an outsole. 
since they use the entire material on the entire shoe, you just kind of have to deal with like the downsides. Wearing it, it's it's pretty firm. I'd say it's way more uncomfortable than like Ultra Boost. Um, even more uncomfortable than like Air Max or something like that. You know, not to say it's like super uncomfortable or anything, but you know, it's, I, we've been kind of spoiled with really comfortable shoes in the last two years with like the Vapor Maxes, Ultra Boosts, and all that kind of stuff coming out. So this is kind of like you know, it's, they 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 feel like you're wearing like some Vans or something like that. So it's not horrible. Uh, the bottom of the shoe, since it's kind of like the same material there's no there's no real grip and it's really soft so even though i haven't really like worn these outside i've been wearing around the house like all day and they seem to uh slip around a lot so you know you might want to be careful with that but yeah i mean all in all pretty dope shoe uh, i want to talk more about like the actual collaboration details of this shoe now um the shoe came in this really cool co-branded box Boom, Stance, New Balance, American Flag. Oh yeah, that's one thing I didn't mention. Um, this entire pack is like American made. The shoe is made in USA. And the socks that come with the shoe, boom, oops, boom, are also made in USA. Um, but we'll get to that later. Um, the whole um, Boston and San Clemente motif is present throughout the box. You got a map of San Clemente here with latitude and longitude. On the other side, you got a map of Boston with latitude and longitude. It's pretty cool. Um, on the inside, they have even co-branded tissue paper. Don't really see that too often. Went all out. Um, the, the socks from Stance, not a lot of people, I guess, knew these came with socks, but they do come with Made in USA socks. Stance actually has a factory in the U.S. While most of their socks are manufactured in China, they actually have a factory in the U.S. that does Made in USA socks as well, kind of like New Balance. Uh, the custom socks, actually, the canvas ones, are, are printed in San Clemente at the headquarters, so that's kind of like a cool process to check out. But that's a different video for another day. So let's check out these bad boys. If I can get them open, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. All right, I got them open. So, the socks, on the bottom it says Made in USA. They're this beautiful kind of like navy color that matches the shoe. Got a more Boston and San Clemente maps on the sock box. Um, so they're navy striped socks with um, the New Balance logo embroidered on the inside and the Stance logo embroidered on the inside. For reference, the logos go on the inside of your foot. They do not go like this. They go like this. Um, that, that is the official stance, stance on the position of the logos. But anyway, um, I'll definitely be wearing these socks with these shoes with some shorts or something like that. That would be a nice combination. Uh, branding on the co-branding on the shoe itself, we got some, um, what are these called? Lace locks? No, lace locks are up here. I don't know what these are called, but um, there's some stance branding right there. Boop. And, um, oh yeah, I didn't talk about the laces. The laces are this like kind of like cool two-tone lace. The tip is the, the sand colorway and the rest of the lace is the ocean colorway. And you got the Stance and New Balance logo right there on the lace tip. And I think the coolest part, the, the um, sock liners have the Boston and San Clemente map printed on them with the latitude longitude. So yeah, that's, uh, that's like a really cool kind of like finishing touch. And um, not that many people probably notice this, but they have the blue line at the top. All stance socks, all stance male socks have the blue line where the toe box is. It's kind of like the stance signature blue, so I think it's you know it's like an homage to all the stance socks out there. Uh, so, so yeah, I mean, I am elated to have gotten a pair of these, as I said earlier. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear these. You know, they, they're just worth too much sentimental value to me, but they're definitely a nice shoe. So I might be breaking these out this summer. Um, I hope, you know, that I answered some questions you had about this shoe and the collab itself. All right, so I'm gonna go throw these on feet so you guys can see it on foot. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.